Hey everybody, it's Coach Wharton here with OnlineBikeCoach.com and I wanted to give you a quick update on the rides that I've been performing with the ShockWiz uh, suspension tuning system on my new 2022 Intense Sniper T Pro. Uh, we're about 21 rides in and I've missed one or two data points but largely I've gotten a pretty good solid picture of what needs to be done and that's going to culminate in a trip tomorrow morning over to Mad Racing with Mike Davis where I'm going to leave the bike and the rear shock and we're going to get that uh, thing tuned up the way that the uh, shock was is recommending. I'm going to start by showing you a GIF of a um, of, the, of, the, of the 21 rides that we've got going and I've highlighted the the uh, overwhelming uh, recommendation and suggestion that you can s that, that that is popping up every time I ride, and that is the high speed and low speed compression almost always end up saying it needs to be made softer, which means it needs to be able to compress faster. Now there are a couple of episodes where I've had some rebound uh, suggestions. I've had one or two uh, requests for uh, airline uh, air pressure adjustment. No changes in the spring ramp and um, uh, not much again with the high speed or the low speed rebound. Now this is with a Fox Float DPS. It's brand new. It's got, it, 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 it's, a, it's a great uh, uh, rear shock but I want you to see that as I'm talking everything is saying we need a softer suspension, we need a, uh, a softer compression, softer compression, softer compression, and softer compression uh, both high speed and low speed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now what about the front? I'm gonna save that for another video. Uh, I'm getting a lot more stochastic data and um, it's, it's yielding a little bit of a different uh, value, so to speak. Um, and I am going to probably end up putting some uh, stuff in there and, and kind of making it, making it uh, I'm going to work with it and I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to add a spacer to that, but I'm also going to make a video showing the compression delta between a fully opened chamber and a chamber with a 10cc um, spacer uh, built in. Anyway, that's really about it. Uh, I'm going to let this speak for itself and the next several days after I get the bike back, I'm going to be uploading and saving the data and I'll share that with you when I'm done. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching and let's enjoy the ride because I certainly am.